It's still a game in which seasons change everything. Winter, you're going to have ice, you're going to have snow. That's going to change up the way you tackle corners, the kind of cars you take into races. Because every time the season takes over, there's going to be changes in the world, different things that you can, you can do and see. There are 12 houses. Um, there's like a huge variety. So when you start the game, um, we kind of give you one after the first hour or so. Um, and then from there, you're free to go explore, discover them. Some of them are really well hidden. We all thought at one point, what, what would it be like to race a, a hovercraft? Exactly. And, exactly. Uh, and now we, now we get to find out. You will be able to join with up to 72 people on a survey. You can still absolutely race against gravitas in races, but when you're in the open world, there's an emergent fun and a character that real people can bring. This is our new way to earn skills and then spend those skill points on cars. And we decided, let's add a skill tree to every car you now get daily challenges. So they're like bite-sized challenges that you can do. The weekly challenge is all about getting into like a particular kind of special car and just wait for the perfect item in here that you want to get. Our menu's a lot more flexible, which is great because it allows us to be a lot more creative. We've found the fun and the different types of gameplay that can be involved in finding and smashing a bonus board. Block Party and Pulse are back. Timeless uh, FM has come back as well. Hospital records return. Uh, for yeah. Horizon 4, and an old favourite that, that skipped a game actually, Horizon XS, uh, is back. In every game we kind of try and record as many cars as we possibly can. McLaren were a great partner to work with on this. He actually uh, provided us with a, a 720 and a, a 540 to go out on the, the airstrip in Dunsfold. Team Adventure is kind of uh, a natural evolution of online adventure from Forza Horizon 3. So it's going to be a six versus six. Yep. Um, and the other thing is that it's restructured to really be a properly competitive game mode. Free Run Rush is kind of an evolution of the drive to event phase that was in Forza Horizon 3. It's a team race, but it's a team race with no checkpoints. What survival is, is it puts uh, one team becomes a zombie team and another team becomes the team of survivors. The goal of the zombie teams is to hit all the survivors and infect them all at the same time. Pretty cool way to reveal uh, Edinburgh. So that's the Scott Mo Monument. So we're on Princess Street, which has many famous buildings on it, not least of which is obviously the castle. Edinburgh itself is just a super cool place at night. All the shop lights have, have turned on, all the street lights. Mm -hmm.